Okay, so I'm going. I, I wanted to show you guys my process in taking photos, more like how I edit photos on Instagram. This shoot is gonna be a chicken, vegan chicken seasoning. I know, I know that sounds kind of funny to have vegan chicken seasoning. Like you're a vegan, how can you have vegan chicken chicken seasoning? Am I in focus? So I kind of teased my mom about it. But either way, so here's my idea. So I got this this little plate thing. Actually, I don't. This is my sister's. I'm gonna put little measurements of spices around or maybe in random areas, and then uh, use some of these spices for texture. Go from there and see how that turns out. Okay, so this is my current setup. I got these, I got these guys here. Black tablecloth, this thing, got my light. Got the sun, overcast, and this is what they look like so far. The next day. So, I took the pictures with the 5D. Here it is, 5D, bam, right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes, after I take the pictures, do this. Bro, did I just come up, did we just come up with a way to, to synchronize this like a boss? I think we just did, okay. Uh, once I take the pictures, I then load them onto my phone because I do every single ounce of my photo editing on my phone as of right now. Photos to my phone, which I do through this, you, uh, you connect to the 5D Wi-Fi. If you don't know how to do that, click this video up here and that'll show you how to, how to do that. So after you do that, you then open up Canon Connect and you go to images on card and you can go through and select the ones that you want. It would have made a folder called Canon, Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. And then you can go through and select the photo. It's usually at this point that I go through and see which photos I like and which ones I don't like. This one might be pretty good, and I'm gonna hit share. Okay, I first put them into VSCO. All free apps, all of these apps I use are free. This is quick, this is much quicker than what I would normally do. Like I said, I normally would go through each photo, see which ones are in focus, which ones aren't. So, in VSCO, why is, what are you importing? Oh yeah, sometimes it does that. I don't know why it does that. Okay, so first step is to add the preset. I use either A6, a4, uh, HB1, or HB2. I just started using the HBs. It used to be just the just to be A6 or A4. Yeah, because this is gonna be the thumbnail. You want it to be kind of clear. Um, so then we come over here to the settings. I like how VSCO does the white balance. J uh, just with the apps that I use, I think it's one of the better ones next to the Instagram one. But if I have to fix the white balance, I'll do it in VSCO. But I don't think it really needs to be fixed. If anything, I might cool it off a little bit and be right there. right there. And sometimes I'll adjust the exposure in VSCO, but most of the times I won't. Okay, so that's good. Whoops, so we'll hit save. This one, one of these two gonna be for Instagram. I actually might go with HB2 with this one. Now we're gonna come to Add to LR, also known as Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. It, de it depends on, on what I am trying to do with the photo. Sometimes I'll just put it into VSCO and that's, that's it. I'll go from straight from there to Instagram or save it to my device and then go to Instagram. But if I want, if I feel like the photo needs some more tweaking and I need more control over the photo, if certain areas are, are highlighted and other areas, the highlights are blown out and then other areas it's too dark, then I'll throw it into Lightroom and fix it there, put in here. So here are the images right here. Let's do the YouTube thumbnail first. Lately I've been coming over to effects, going over to clarity, boosting that up, but sometimes it's like, eh. I might do that with the YouTube, with the Facebook one. So let's just do like, 27, so let's do 17 clarity on that. So then we'll come over here to exposure, boost the exposure just a little bit. I'm gonna bring that down. That looks pretty good right there. And then I'll do shadows. Let's see, there we go. The shadows over there are kind of messed up. So let's do that. I think that that looks pretty good. What are, what are those shadows? I can see if I bring that all the way over. I think that looks pretty good 
for a thumbnail. Lightroom is very harsh when it comes to adjusting the temperature. That's why I usually don't use Lightroom to adjust temperature. The reason I said I, I want more control, I feel like Lightroom has more controls because they have this selective setting. So you come over here to the circle on the bottom left, you hit that, and then it says selective edit, you hit the plus. I usually do a circle or freehand. So let's just do that. And you can adjust the circle, make it oblong. And if it's oblong, they can do this, grab the sides and turn it like that if you want to. But we're not gonna be doing that right now. We're just gonna be zooming in on the salt and the gray dot on the top adjusts feathering. So, all right, and then I'll come over here to this little sun for a light and drop the highlights just on that. Let's see what that looks like. That looks a little bit better, but Maybe like that. That looks good. Now I might add another one. Put that over this spice over here. And this is why I really like, really like Lightroom because if there's a section that you just want to bring down, then you can very easily do it. So we hit the check mark, so those are good. And I think we are good. I also like that Lightroom has a histogram on it right there. So that that has helped me. Uh, edit videos, edit stuff, so, but I don't need that right now. I think that looks good. Then I'll just take all of these, kind of tap and hold, do that, select that, select that. Come here with three dots, save to device, highest quality, and then we wait for it to export. And then that saves it to your phone, and you can do with it whatever, whatever you want. You I know that I need to start editing videos on my computer. I have Lightroom on my computer. I should use it. I just, um, I've been using this for the past few months now and it's simple. It's right here on my phone, easy to do, and I like it. But I should start using it on the computer. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys next week. Hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notifications. Boom, done, let's go.